Yo, what's up? It's me, MC Shaky, MC Shaky Live. What's going on? Let me get my banner up. Thank you for watching this video. If you can, I would love if you like, subscribe, and share it. Also, comment while you're here. I would love to see some comments. Um, and I love to, whatever, whatever. So suffice to say, um, I am not a hater, and I'm a congratulator, and I'm a person that loves to share information. Trust me, I don't want to see you lose. I want to see you win. Um, and I recently got, early this morning, this blue tick on Instagram. My Instagram is at M-C-S-H-A-K-I-E-L-I-V-E, which is at MC Shake It Live. Um, and it's on Instagram. I've got the blue tick. I'm verified on Instagram. Um, and so this video is basically me telling you how I think I got verified. I don't know if it's going to work for you or whatever, but it's just me telling you how I got verified, how I think I got verified. So, it's, first of all, this is the first thing. I used to didn't follow Instagram's rules at all. I used to do what I wanted. But they have this thing called the terms of service and they have the community standards. Both of those are things. Terms of service are things they can just disable your account for and um, the uh, community guidelines are things that they suggest you do on the community. If you, if you follow those things, your account wouldn't get disabled, your account doesn't get disabled, but I think that you should be compliant with their rules. And just generally speaking, they probably wouldn't verify you if you're not following their rules. So um, that's the first thing I did. I just got compliant with the rules. I read them, I understood them, I understood what I couldn't post, when I couldn't post, what I couldn't, what I could post and what I couldn't post and how I could just follow their rules. And that was like pretty much one of the biggest hurdles that I think I faced. Um, the second thing is, you know, so me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a New Orleans bounce MC as well as a vlogger, um, as well as a few other things. Um, so I'm like a jack of all trades per se. And so I think that kind of was hard because it's like, how can you verify me for one thing? And so but all of my things are just, they all have something to do with creation. So when I did, and you do your business profile and you do all that stuff like that, kind of put yourself as exactly what you do. If you are like, so don't be a singer and put athlete kind of sort of. So because I think somebody does look and see what it is if you're in your lane. So in my case, I was always like musician, but as an MC, I didn't really, I really just didn't make music a lot, like at least original music in a sense. Um, and so I changed it to digital creator because I digitally create stuff. And so it kind of like, oh, okay, it kind of fits. So in the case, I think the next thing that I did was like make it fit to what I actually do. So it made sense to the Instagram people. As long as I had musician, I didn't, you know, I don't think it was going to ever because I don't really play an instrument professionally. Um, the next thing is, so there were, so, okay. Instagram says in their verification, they want to verify people who are notable or uh, something like that. And so what happens is, but my notoriety, if anything, I was like, if you Google me, if you, my moniker, of, of course, everybody knows is MC Shaky. So if you Google MC Shaky, you find some stuff, lots of related to music. But if you Google my real name, you also find some of the activism and acting and book writing and stuff that I did out there. So even, so I wrote a book. So I'm not saying go write a book, but I'm saying like, if you have a book. Yeah, so I guess the best thing I could tell you how to do is to have all your stuff under one name. That way it's easier than for them to find. But in my case, I didn't. The things I wrote, like the articles that are written by me are written by me and my name. So if you Google my name, my real name, which is Rodney Russo, you'll find my book, you'll find uh, the articles that's written by me, even some of the ones that were me about me going to prison and stuff like that. Some of the activism stuff I did, that was all under my real name. But all my music oriented stuff, it was all under MC Shaky, which is what y'all pretty much know me as. And so I didn't want to never combine the two. And so like, I wanted them to be separate because I guess I just wanted to be really talking more seriously when I need to be and, and less there's a, and I think this was a hindrance. So what I had to do was also put in the name of my profile, my real name and my whatever name. So if you Google either R or you Google all, I mean, everything comes up, which makes sense. So if you have stuff on a different name, make sure you put it in the name section, which I did of my profile. 
So in my profile, you see Rodney MC Shaky Russo. And then I just put what I do, my controller, MC vlogger, artist, author, activist, actor, and connect. So this is another thing people do. People put their SoundCloud links, their Twitter links, their OnlyFans links, their whatever links in your Google, excuse me, in your Instagram bio. Don't do that. I heard that is murder. I heard that they don't like you linking to another app, especially one that's competing with. Facebook owns Instagram and they're competing with Twitter, they're competing with Snapchat, they're competing with they're competing with YouTube, they're competing with everything. So they don't mind you putting your website, but they don't they hate when you put another social media site in your bio. They hate that. So don't do that. I use, um, as y'all can see right there, a, a service called Linktree, which basically, if you click it, I'm gonna show you what happens if you click it, it just goes to my landing page, which then talks about stuff that I did. Um, I have my music, you can click and get my music, electronic press kit, the prison stories um, thing, my book on Amazon, if you wanna order some t-shirts, and then it links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and my email. I have all of those. My music page kind of is basically a landing page as well. It just goes to all of my albums and it just looks like professional to me. So it goes to all my albums as, as well as my Facebook, my TikTok, Spotify, my YouTube music page, my SoundCloud, and my stuff. So it still links to those things, but it serves as basically my website, like a landing. It's, so it's a landing page. And so what happens here is, it kind of is not the thing. So you're, they're not really mad that you're, and Linktree is okay with Instagram because actually if you go to Linktree.com, um, this it's one of the it's one of the few um, Instagram authorized apps because you can literally like just log in with your Instagram on there. So it's one of the few Instagram authorized apps. So they're okay to use, but I don't recommend you putting your Twitter in your YouTube links because they kind of hate that. Now, I don't know if you can get not verified because of that, but that's just not a smart thing to do. Just, they don't, we want you to spend all your time on an Instagram app. And so that's what they want. They want you to, to live in the Instagram app. They want you to spend as much time as possible on Instagram app. So even though they tell you it's only for notable people that's blah, 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 I think it's also for people that can contribute to their platform. That's my thing, thinking about it. Um, so follow their rules, do that. now. Me being an artist, I was thankful to have 20 years, 20, being in entertainment, I have 20 years as a body of work to work on. Even though people look like, well, you've only been home two years, you only have to Instagram two years, how in the world can you get verified? And you don't have a million followers and you only been on Instagram for two years and stuff like that, but guess what? I don't think that matters, obviously it doesn't. But what they wanna see is like some credible work that's really outside of like something that you've done social media wise. So in my case, um, like say for instance, let's do this. Uh, this is the one y'all watching. I'm gonna see watch with. Oh no, y'all ain't on there. Hold on. All right. So let us go here, and I will just Google. Let's just Google Rodney. Let's just Google. That was just me. Let's just Google. Who is this dude? And so so you're seeing bodies of work outside of social media. You're seeing a big times opinion, some activist stuff, um, me doing interviews. Um, you're seeing a, my book, Arrow, um, from a YouTube. You're seeing a Nola.com article, of course, a BAB article, New York Times article. Okay, so look. So do you have to go get articles done about you? Yes and no. But you want to have something that somebody's saying about you outside of like kind of like social media, like in a sense, you want to have something that's tangible from a respected somebody. If you don't, you have to find out how to get that. You have to have some type of news, noteworthy something. Somebody has to interview, Matt, care what you say about whatever it is that you do. So my thing is like literally just make sure you have something that because I had some stuff that I had done outside of like social media that was that made some noise. Um, do I recommend y'all paying like for advertisement and all that stuff like that? Um, paying for like uh, 
interviews and stuff like that. No, but I do recommend you doing it to doing your due diligence to say, like, don't just say, okay, because I'm just I'm me and I want to be social media, blase, blase, and I'm social media famous, and then that should be like verified because I'm social media famous. I mean, I'm sure there's some people that have gotten verified that way. I'm sure I don't know, but in my case, no, I literally had a body of work as well as I had music. So if I just even just Google like MC Shaky, you will find uh, I'm gonna start off with this, MC Shaky music. And you'll find songs, you will find videos, you will find music. Like I have an app like Apple, Spotify, you'll find music about me. Oh y'all didn't see none of that. Oh. Crazy me. All right, so what I did was Google MC Shaky music. I might have to, I'm not editing this video, it's, it's kind of sort of live. So you'll see like songs and videos and stuff that I've done. So chronicle your body of work, chronicle what you do, whatever it is that you do. So if you're not music, if you're like a digital person of your company or whatever it is that you do, chronicle your work and make sure that it's out there. Like um, create, I think, so I think too what helps is this. So this is, thing called backlinks i'm not exactly sure how it works you can youtube a video and see how seo and all that stuff works but i do recommend you making your own backlinks in the sense of like okay you make a youtube video you have a youtube make sure you have an account on every social media thing anyway but if you have a youtube youtube allows you to easily share to all of like i can share it on my tumblr my blogger my facebook my twitter like i can share it on everything and so it creates was like a backlink on another platform for your YouTube video. But what it also did uh, does is mark in Google that you're somewhere else. Because I think they Google you. I think they look on Wikipedia and they good up because um, even with like them, like I got an email from them asking me if I was the MC Shaggy who is this, this is the same view. And they were like, and I, of course I said, yes. Of course, I have to submit a copy of my driver's license and everything. So whatever, whatever. A lot of people say, okay, pay for it and stuff like that. I'm seeing editing where from two to ten thousand dollars people are paying for this. I don't have two thousand dollars. I don't have ten thousand dollars. I don't have two dollars. So I didn't do any of that. Um, I just worked. And so if you're trying to get one and you ain't trying to work, this is probably not the video for you. But if you want to put in the work, it's just kind of making yourself everywhere like making sure there's an imprint of you everywhere that you can put it um i think that's the case follow their rules clean up your profile to where instagram will want to verify you and make sure you like i would be active on the platform i would definitely um just kind of like make sure that i'm a little bit of everywhere and it'll come um the articles and publicity thing is probably like one of the biggest hurdles but i mean you know, like you would want to be, if you think you, uh, it, you know, it kind of goes to whatever it is. You just don't want to be verified. Just say you're verified. You want to be verified because you are who you are. And it's like something that you're adding to the world in a sense, like you add something to someone. So why not want to have some type of, why not go on some type of publicity from that? And so getting out there and, and actually being active and being places and being talking to people and stuff like that. I think that's kind of like what you should want to do to get it. I don't think you should just get it because you want one. But I, who am I? I'm not saying that I'm the, who am I to judge why somebody wants something or why somebody has something. I'm just telling you what I think. So um, that's uh, kind of like how I, I got verified. That's how I think you get verified. That's how I think everybody pretty much gets verified. I think that there's pretty much no shortcuts. Uh, if it was, it will be mass. It would be definitely like everybody would be doing it. Because just makes makes make it make sense. I mean, if you could pay a hundred dollars to get a verified badge, you pay on. But if it costs a thousand dollars, somebody's paying a thousand dollars, and you see a lot of rich people verify. You know, it's like they verify who needs to be verified. Do I think I need to be verified? Or I mean, it's the subjective. I think so. I think I've been verified, but that's kind of like what I did. So, um, I um just basically. That's what happened. I just kind of cleaned up. I followed their rules, kind of cleaned up my profile, took a lot of the links and, and stuff out. Um, and then I did just make sure that 
they were able to find me however they were looking for me. However one would look to see if I was somebody of, that had some type of notoriety or notability. Um, Cause this is one of the things that they were looking for in verifying um, Instagram accounts. So good luck. I hope y'all are verified. I hope everybody gets verified. I hope everybody gets your blue checks. It has been an experience for me. A lot of people hate this. I have got a lot of hate <laughs> DMs. In the back. Like, I got some good congratulatory DMs, but it was a lot of hate DMs <laughs> too <laughs> from people I have no idea who they are and they're from like all over the place. So um, I don't, you know, it's not, nothing else is happening. I ain't getting me dollars. I would love it. <laughs> that's us go with it. But, you know, that's what I think. So. I love y'all and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to y'all later. All right.